Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we'll discuss how to add features of work to RMS. Now let's get started. The purpose of the features of work module is to maintain a list of definable features of work available for lookup in areas of RMS. Features of work, also known as definable features of work, may be defined as a task that is separate and distinct from other tasks that has separate control requirements, is identified by different trades or disciplines, or is worked by the same trade in a different environment. Although each section of the specifications can generally be considered as definable feature of work, there are frequently more than one definable feature under a particular section. This list is agreed upon during the quality control coordination meeting. All activities in your schedule, NAS, must be assigned to one and only one feature of work. While a feature of work may be linked to many activities, features of work in the quality control plan in RMS3 must match those in the scheduling program. Features of work are added to RMS3 in two ways. They may be manually added, or automatically through an SDF file import. Features of work can be imported in bulk via the SDF file by entering up to 30 characters into the description of the features of work activity code. If we take a look at the features of work module, we can see that there are none listed or created for this contract. To import an SDF file, navigate to the Import Export tab, then click on NAS SDF. One of the data fields associated with an activity in the scheduling program is feature of work. RMS3 will extract the information input in this field from the SDEV file during import and automatically populate the feature of work table. An entry will be created for all features of work that are not already included in RMS. Any feature of work in the SDEV file that does not exactly match an existing feature in the table, including capitalization, spacing, and spelling, will generate a new entry. Therefore, when using SDEV, consider entering features only through SDEV files to prevent duplicate appearing features from occurring. If duplicates occur, to avoid confusion, remove the duplicates. Be careful to retain the version that is contained in the SDEV file, otherwise duplicates will continue to pop up every time an SDEV file is imported. Click the Add button, then select a file. We will select the pre-filled.sdev and click Open, then Next. Now we will choose the file type. Since this is the first import for this contract, we will select Initial. Enter the project ID and click Finish. As you can see, the list of activities and their data populates in the list below. We are able to review all of the data we have imported prior to requesting import. If we click on Preview Data Import into Contract, we can see a list of activities, subcontractor codes, clin balances, and even features of work to be added to the contract. Before the files can be imported into the contract, we must submit this SDF to the government and await approval. Click on Request Acceptance to Import button. Once the approval has been given, we will have more than one opportunity to review our SDF file before we import the data into our contract. Click back on the Preview Import Data button and click on Import SDF Data into Contract. If there were previous versions of SDF files or older data, importing the above SDF may override existing data. It is important that we double check and verify that all is correct. For this demonstration, this information is correct. Now we have successfully imported this data into our contract. Let's navigate back to the Features of Work module. We can now see that the Features of Work have been added from the SDEF import. When an SDEF file is not being used, it is necessary to manually enter the Features of Work. Click on the Add button, then enter the name in the Feature field, then click OK. Now click the Back button to save. Alternatively, you can also select a feature from the Features of Work library by clicking on the Selected Feature button. The library consists of common features found on many Corps of Engineers construction projects. Features selected from the library may also be edited to tailor the feature to the specific use in your contract. An advantage to selecting feature titles from the library is that it provides ready access to the inspection checks library covered in the three-phase inspections module. Please see a link in the description box below for more information on three-phase inspections. Now click the back button to save. In summary, we discussed how to add features of work information through an SDF import as well as manually adding features of work in the module. As a reminder, when utilizing the SDF import, it is imperative that the labeling system is correct down to the spelling and capitalization. Duplicates can be created if this information has already been entered. For a more detailed approach on importing SDF files, please see the link in the description of this video. If you encounter any technical issues or error messages while adding features of work, please submit a help desk support ticket. Our contact information will be provided in the description as well. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.